Hello my beautiful friends, in today's video I'm going to share with you my top 10 self-love rituals. These simple practices help me deepen my relationship with myself. They contribute to me feeling happier and more relaxed every day. These self-love rituals also help me feel more aligned with my values. Like many of us, I have experienced my share of emotional downs and dark clouds. Feeling anxious, overwhelmed with everything that's happening in my life and the world, or simply burnt out because I have neglected taking care of myself. Over the years, I have learned more about what brings me joy, what makes me feel more at peace and connected with myself. I have made a conscious effort to incorporate all of these practices in my daily life. Soon they have become my daily self-love rituals. Rituals that uplift me, ground me, and simply make me feel like I'm taking care of my inner child. So I will start with my favorite self-love ritual, and it's the ritual of gratitude. I start and end my day with gratitude. It has been one of the most profound and powerful rituals I've added to my daily life. I use the five minute journal, which is simple because it only takes five minutes a day, no excuses, and provides all the right prompts for me to start and end my day on an uplifted note. This self-love ritual helps me reflect on all the good in my life and creates a mindset of abundance. I find having positive focus and perspective helps me tremendously in my day-to-day -day life. I've had periods in my life when I fell out of the habit of practicing daily gratitude. I had quickly noticed all those times when I stopped this ritual that I get harder on myself, I start complaining and living out of fear. This self-love ritual is one of my favorite one and the most impactful one, hence why I started the video with it. I have learned through these periods that it's not enough to intellectually understand gratitude one must practice it daily to really embody it. Another one of my favorite self-love rituals is tea time. Who doesn't like tea time? I absolutely love taking a few minutes of my day to slow down, put everything away and have a cup of tea or matcha latte or another one of my favorite hot drinks with a side of chocolate, of course. Life is all about balance, right? I feel like it's a small gesture that has a big impact. This self-love ritual allows me to slow down and enjoy the present moment. I always feel relaxed and more restored after to get back to whatever else I was doing before I had the tea. Another self-love ritual that I love doing every day is simply taking care of myself. And it could be anything like pampering myself and doing my hair or giving myself a face massage or putting on a face mask, anything that makes me feel good about myself. And also it doesn't have to take a long time. It could be something that only takes a few minutes a day, but it's a ritual that really helps me feel refreshed and loved. Cooking a fresh meal with my own hands for myself always feels good. After all, we are what we eat. Therefore, I believe this is one of the most important self-love rituals I personally practice. It's mindful cooking and then, of course, mindful eating. When eating my meal, I always put my phone away. I do my best to be present with my food and slow down. I am notorious for gobbling up my food really quickly, so I have to make a conscious effort to really slow down and enjoy every bite. I find that if I'm eating while I'm walking or while I'm on the phone, I don't even enjoy the process of eating. So for that reason, I make sure to always sit down when I'm eating to eat in peace and quiet. It's also better for the digestion. I have been using positive affirmations for years and years. It's another one of my favorite ways to practice self-love. I used to be quite skeptical of affirmations until I realized that essentially everything I tell myself, positive or negative, is a form of affirmation. Negative thoughts typically translate to negative actions and behaviors. Similarly, positive thoughts typically translate to positive actions and positive behaviors. Therefore, I have made a conscious choice to only speak to myself in a kind way. Using mindful affirmations daily helps me believe in myself and what I am capable of doing and achieving. 
They boost my confidence and make me feel more loved and positive about myself. As some of you already know about me, I am a big advocate for meditation. I use meditation every day as my self-love ritual. Years ago, when I went through the darkest time of my life, meditation helped me pull myself out of the deepest dark hole. I love taking 15 minutes, sometimes up to 30 minutes, to meditate before I go to bed. I have to confess that I'm not always consistent with this ritual, simply because after practicing meditation regularly for a few months, I feel so great physically, mentally, and emotionally that I don't feel like I need it anymore. But then, after some time, I always get back to the self-love ritual. The moment I feel out of balance, I go back to meditation. Listening to an audiobook or podcast or reading a book is another one of my self-love rituals that I do daily. I love surrounding myself with information that is inspiring, information that challenges me and helps me grow, or question my personal conditioning. And I usually do it on the go if I'm washing the dishes or if I'm walking somewhere, I'm usually listening to something. I find walking extremely beneficial for my mental health. For that reason, it has become one of my favorite self-love rituals. I love walking in nature. It grounds me and calms my mind. I love watching the seasons change. It reminds me of impermanence in life and that this too shall pass. It reminds me to enjoy all that is in my life. If I can't find time to go to a park, I'll walk to all my errands. I literally go out of my way to walk to places I need to be instead of taking a cab or public transit. I feel so much better when I walk and I make sure I do it daily. Working out is another one of my self-love ritual. I have been consistent with my workouts for the last two and a half years and I have noticed a tremendous positive change in myself. I feel better mentally, emotionally, and physically. I also feel more energetic. Another thing that I've noticed when I work out is that I feel warmer because I was always freezing all day, every day. And ever since I started working out, I feel like I have better circulation and I feel generally warmer all throughout the day. I work out three to five times a week. Most of the workouts I do are at home on a yoga mat. Some days I go jogging or I do some squats. I always remind myself it's not about being perfect or doing a long workouts. Even 15 or 30 minutes a day is better than nothing. Mindful social media consumption has also become one of my self-love rituals and I believe this is a really important for all of us. I avoid using my phone in the morning. I usually put it on airplane mode at night and it stays on airplane mode at least until I finish my workout. I spend a little bit of time posting and consuming social media after lunch. Also in the evenings, I'll give myself 15 to 30 minutes to post or consume some social media until I put my phone away for the evening again on airplane mode. Of course, there are days where there's exceptions. On some days, I use the social media a bit more. But generally speaking, this is how I do it daily. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here and sticking all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed the self-love ritual video, please give this video a big thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below. Do we have a self-love ritual in common? I would absolutely love to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!